we're sitting here, it's 10 years from now, I'm in my early 60s, and someone comes along and says, Peter, all that stuff you did was totally unnecessary. Yeah. You could have been eating Cheetos, drinking margaritas all day long. Sure. I have a pill that's going to make you 20 years old again. I would have no regrets. Yeah. I would be like, I don't care. I am really glad I, I did what I did. Um, but I would have regret if I put my eggs in the basket that said, I'm going to drink the margaritas all day. I'm not going to exercise. I'm going to wait for the exercise pill to come along. And it just doesn't come along. The biggest hurdle to the development of advanced pharmacology and genetic engineering and so on to do this kind of thing is going to be regulatory in nature, hands down. FDA, everything's off by five or 10 years. It sucks. But once AI has enough time to cook on these problems, the candidate drugs released will run through trials with just an unreal record. But why? Because if you have very not so good at things AI, that's decent. No, but like AI is going to do a great job at the first step of the process, which is what's the molecule? Right. Like right now, it's trial and error. It's brute force. It's super painful. Yeah. Alpha Not anymore right now. Right. You can't exactly. Say that AlphaFold anymore. changes that. Yeah. How is AI going to streamline the phase one trial where we have to prove once we have the IND? Oh, yeah. No, the, no. The, it doesn't streamline it at all. It just flies through it like it, it knocks out phase one, knocks out phase two, knocks out phase three, mark it. So you can say, right. But phase we one get to phase two to, to phase three, it's still going to take a decade. Oh, totally. But at the end of that decade, we have super drugs hitting the market all at the same time, as opposed to the incremental process. The increments are all handled up front by the AI. And that last decade is just like, we just got to do this. It's like coming up with Reda True Tide in 2014 yes. when we had liraglutide as yes. the first generation yes. GLP-1 that yeah. sucked. Yep. If the AI is powerful enough, it'll just give you candidates that are just killers right offhand. It's like, but how will it know that? Because again, this is such a silly philosophical discussion, sure, but sure. like, didn't we kind of need to see that, okay, semaglutide was better than liraglutide, but we had to see, you could, you, I don't know if this was predictable. You had to actually see the experience to then go from semaglutide to terzepatide and realize that, oh, like maybe it's the GIP <laughs> as well as the GLP that's really good. And yes, now when we look at the pipeline, it's, it's different. So I, I do wonder, uh, I mean, again, that's a, it's a, it's a very tantalizing proposition, but I wonder how much of it can be figured out through simulation, which is what would be necessary. 